Around the country, people are deep in preparations for a solar eclipse on April 8th. Here in Vermont, where we're based, we're right in the path of totality. I'm Jane Lindholm with Vermont Public. Join us as we explore what's being called the Great American Eclipse. So you said this is a pretty rare event, but it could happen anywhere on Earth. So how often do we see total eclipses? So they worked out an average that in any one location, it's about every 400 years. Oh my gosh, every 400 years. Yes. You're sort of an eclipse chaser. What data are you trying to get during an eclipse? Like why is the upper atmosphere of the sun so hot? It's hotter than the surface of the sun and we call that the coronal heating problem. So how do you see the eclipse safely? Well, one thing we wanna say right at the start is this is not a good option. A pair of sunglasses will not block out enough of the sunlight to be safe. So just ditch the sunglasses altogether. If you're wondering how to view the eclipse safely and maybe you don't have any eclipse glasses, you can make a pinhole viewer with materials you may already have at home. We're gonna make Eclipse viewers, they're called pinhole viewers. This is like a screen. This is like a movie screen. Okay, so we're gonna take our viewer, we're gonna look through here, and I'm gonna position myself until I can find that light. And now I'm seeing there's a circle of light projected right on the back of my pinhole viewer. Thousands of people are expected to visit Vermont to see the eclipse, and many of them will need a place to stay. Hotels in the region said they started receiving calls to book rooms about two years ago. Lots of Vermonters are getting creative to sell accommodations, including a church in Burlington. We knew that already people were struggling to find affordable places to stay in Burlington. So we uh, created a homestay program where we've asked congregants to host basically strangers who are coming here for the eclipse as a fundraiser for the congregation, but also as an act of hospitality. 